Hello YouTube, this is VMonkeyFX, and today isn't going to be really a tutorial so much as a walkthrough of this sort of space explosion thing I whipped up in After Effects, so let's just take a quick preview of it. So it took me a little while to render this, and it's fairly complicated, because it uses a few, well, fairly complicated plugins. Uh, but they're luckily they're not very complicated to use. I think it would be possible for a beginner to do this, but it would take them more time than an advanced user who knows what he's doing and is familiar with the software. So I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown. So you see here, um, these two orange solids are what's making up my sort of glow around the explosion. So if I turn these off, it doesn't look as impressive, but I think it could go either way. It just depends what you like. So, yeah. Um, so I set these transfer modes to add so that when it was laid over the explosion, then it wouldn't look like crap. Like, I'll give you... I'll show you what I mean by it looks like crap. Like that. We don't want that. So I switch the transfer mode to add. Um, so yeah, that's how I made the glow type thing. Um, here, here are these sort of rays that come out of the explosion that I made. Um, I made two layers so that it would stick out a little more. You can go without the two layers. There are a lot of variables in making this explosion, but the two things you do need, well, the three things you need in order to make the explosion look really impressive are you're going to need trap code form, trap code shine, and optical flares from Video Copilot. So, we'll just go into this sort of ray thing and I'll break it down. So, if we zoom in, whoa, way too far. Okay, so here we have our little rays that are coming off of the explosion. And basically, what I did was for the base form, I set the sphere to layered. Um, so, it would be a sphere, and it could have multiple layers, and I put two layers in the sphere so that there would be more concentration in the center of the sphere and so and then I used trap code form I suppose you could do it with particular too but particular I think would be more complicated to use than form because the form part of it I made in just a few seconds literally so what I have also set for form is that if we go into disperse and twist I set the disperse to one and then I had it twist a little as we go through the as we go through the composition so yeah and then when I go to transform world I changed the Z from far into the distance and then I had it come up closer by offsetting the Z and keyframing it. So that's basically all I had for the array uh, part of the explosion in the form. So then if we go into the trap code shine part, because without shine, this explosion would have looked like crap. I suppose you might have been able to get along with that. That does look like some sort of singularity type thing. But... I had it colorized to the default three color gradient, which I think is one of the more impressive colorization types that it comes with. I changed the ray length to two, the source point in the center of the explosion. So yeah, it's in the center of the explosion. And so that's about it for the rays. You can play around with the settings in the rays like you could change it to Mars because Mars I think might also work and then fire would really work 
those are the only two that I think would look really impressive with this. So then if you look at the explosion we had these rays coming out of it. And for that aspect of the explosion I used just the video copilot optical flares. And this is a pretty simple flare. I probably would have put some more effort into it if I were actually uh, doing something for a customer, but since this is just for a breakdown, I didn't think that I'd have to put that much effort into it. So if we go into options, you see I have the glows here, and I have a streak that comes out. So it's pretty simple. Um, the iris would probably work. Um, you could use a spike ball or shimmer, glint, something like that. And I don't typically use these for much, but whatever floats your boat. And so then I keyframed the brightness to go along with the positioning of the explosion. Oh. Sorry about that. It just sort of crashed for a little while. And so I keyframed the brightness to go from about 10. And then I made it sort of grow exponentially. So it would go kind of slow at first. Then it would really start to pick up speed until you, well, the screen went completely white. And then after all that, I didn't really change the color a whole lot because I recolored it with trap code shine because then it makes it look a bit more, well, shinier. I don't know how you say it. But that doesn't really look like a very realistic explosion, in my opinion. And even this could probably be improved. That's probably more like it. So... Yeah, just play around with the settings for what you think looks the best. And then if you're doing work for a client, then you're going to want to check with the client and see what they think of it. But this was just a brief overlook of how I made this cool space explosion effect in After Effects CS3. Um then obviously this will work in CS4, CS5.5, and all versions to come. Alright, so that was my brief overview. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.